I have no idea what to make of it. I think we're just going to have to sit back and learn and enjoy this a little bit. It's going to be NIP starting on the CT side and will be I buy power the American team starting on the terrorist side here on Inferno. And they are already moving up. Forrest is going to spot a couple of people down at the bottom of Banana and looking for a quick shot with their USPS. And they're challenging him, which I think is a very, very bad idea. But they will get the opening frag. And now Freiburg falling back here. A pretty good start for I buy power. Yeah, downing Forest is uh, exactly what the doctor ordered for the American team. Build a little bit of confidence, and uh, we'll see whether they can follow that one up. AZK takes a few hits from Fiflaren, but uh, Fiflaren retreats, and uh, I buy power still with a full complement of players, with uh, NIP thinking of going uh, over towards the A site. They've actually been keeping the bomb over there for quite a while. I'm wondering if they were hoping that someone from NIP was going to go aggressive and maybe try and take a Peter out of the pub and so they can get that kill too. But NIP have done a pretty good job just taking it slowly right now. They can actually double fake it and go back towards the B bomb side instead, leaving one guy in Archway and dazed. It's going to open up the kill and exist. This is a huge kill. Now Freiburg stuck in, oh, Flaren, sorry, stuck in CT spawn just waiting. And over at the B bomb side, uh, toss point, it's just going to be Freiburg on low health. Yeah, interesting move here, and uh, they'll they'll move it back. And for my way, power, this is great. They've not had to make a commitment yet, and they've been able to stay together and pick up frags. There's the third. It's Steel who gets get right, and NIP are two on five with a man isolated in that site. AZK's uh, isolated uh, the uh, Freiburg over on B, leaving just Fifth Laren one on five. And here we go. He's not going to get it. A five-man clean sweep. Pestle win for I by power. And this was actually a fake on quite a high level. So the first they go and they, make, they put some pressure on Banana and they're hoping to force some sort of rotation. They have the bomb still at the A bomb side. Then they start moving a little bit up and then they fall back towards the B, then back to A again. So they, there's a lot of mind games going on here. That's a, I think that's a pissed around worthy of some analysis. Just someone should go back and make a you know, video of that one on itself because that was really cool. They flip-flop from right to left on the map. But... Uh... <laughs> Important there in for I buy power, suddenly the confidence will return. The memories of the infused game might be washed away, and I am reliably informed that the only reason uh, infused did so well in that was because Hud's G just rolled back uh, the, the years uh, to a 2007 vintage, he said. Well, I'm definitely, I'm going to look forward to just uh, seeing that game, maybe if I can find a demo of it somewhere, because that's, I mean, that's going to be worthy of it, because everyone was expecting Infused to be the one team definitely going out. And actually, if someone had asked me beforehand, I would have said NIP going out first in the group and I buy power second. I actually would have put Fnatic and Epsilon below even. Um, so I'm just very surprised. Now, a cool position come back from Forest. We've seen this a couple of times. And I'm pretty sure I buy power know it as well. But, you know, in the pressure of the situation, they can forget to check it, and if they do, things are going to be really bad. He's the only one holding, though, so that's obviously a big problem, and he doesn't have a diffuse kit, so he's not looking to go for any kind of ninja diffuse here. It'll be Skadoodle who leads the assault. He doesn't know he's there. On board with Forrest, and Forrest just went straight at it. Didn't It wasn't subtle at all. It's like, oh, there's something to shoot at. I'll shoot it. And uh, I buy power, pick up the opening. Three frags, and uh, look to get this one cleanly. NIP, a round and a half in, have not got a kill on the board yet. No, they haven't, and they actually invested quite heavily into this round as well. They did buy armor and also pistols, so that means they were really looking to do a lot more than they did currently. And I'm a little bit confused about what they were doing then, because having forest like that, you can almost be sure they're going to check, because I buy power had no pressure on them not to check everywhere. There was no intruding from any other angle. They, had all, they could focus on whatever they felt like, so I thought at least NIP could have kept one more person over there to try and distract, and maybe the, the American team would have been looking somewhere else. Yeah, quite right. There was nothing to make them make a mistake at that yeah. point. Uh, so 2-0, I buy power. NIP will uh, look to get their first frag of the game. <laughs> I was going to say, they haven't killed anyone yet. That's definitely unusual. Going into the third round here, and I buy power are going to be in a pretty cool spot. And they're also on the less favored side, so getting this kind of start is going to be huge. And the big problem for NIP is once we get into the next round, assuming they don't upset this one and come right back into it, they're going to have to win, otherwise they will absolutely be forced to eco. Yeah. No pressure in, uh, from NIP. They've not sent anyone down middle or banana to, to scout out any information. They've, uh, they're quite happy to let I buy power come to them at this round. And I buy power will somewhat replicate the, uh, the pistol round. They'll sit and they'll wait and they'll see whether they can uh, get themselves a pick. And then they'll make their decision from there based off where they move NIP players. Get right down. And, uh, I buy power help. 
make the move up the middle. Now, they actually Molotov that corner, which makes me really happy. And NIP have gone for another strange boost, this time in the A-bomb side. And I would be surprised once again if the American team hasn't seen this before. So, Exist, if he gets a kill, it's great. But look at this, they're already spotting. So, very, very intelligent play coming up from I by Power. And actually, they're being allowed to play at the pace that they want to play at right now. NIP are still not putting any pressure on them. We could be seeing three rounds in a row here without a single kill for the Swedish team. Now, there is also, and yeah, not a single kill. Let's, let's highlight that. How often do you see that from NIP? Um, interesting point, though, on I buy a power that you can analyze. You know, when a, in football, when a small team plays a big team, the small team always overperforms where they're at because they've done that much preparation, they're that much more focused on it, and then the next week they'll slip up against a team even smaller than them. You could almost say that I buy power and definitely steal. He's been <laughs> dreaming about this game, you yeah. know, all, all week, month long, and against Infused, maybe just took his eye off the ball. I mean, interesting about Steel as well, now that you point him out, he's actually, you know, he used to live here in the UK and, and play for, for a lot of the UK teams, so I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he's a little bit more used to the European style and can actually help out with some calling. But now we're straight into the fourth round, and this is a must-win round for the Swedish Ninjas. they got to pick it up here. Skadoodle, great pick off here if you trying to fall back. And this is obviously not the opening they need, but get right with some incredible spray. Takes down Steel and ACK, and it's going to be a four on three here. In the middle, the bomb is dropped as well. Get right just needs someone to flash him in, and he can go for a second peek, and the backup is coming. They're going to force him out with a Molotov again, and Daze picks up two sick kills, and it's going to be a two on three. Awesome play from Daze there. As uh, he dispatched of Get right, you almost thought Get right with, despite the Molotov, could get the frag. As uh, Fifth Lair and Forest still. Fully healthed and dangerous will go up against three. They need Skadoodle's Orp to uh, help open up the site, and he's not in this attack as uh, it will be for Flaren to come through. Skadoodle now getting there. They've uh, finally got that third man in, and Skadoodle will be tasked with pushing away Forrest as that flash helps him out as well. For Flaren will go through, and that three players still bunched up a little bit. For Flaren gets the first, Forrest gets the second, and that will be that. And the three on two, the three never looked like winning it. No, they didn't, interestingly, and actually got a credit for Flaren quite a bit with the way he played that box position, because the way the Valve changed this bomb side, now you can spam through that, that wooden box in the middle, and the mistake that we've seen so much in the change is that people just hide behind it and wait. But if Flaren actually used it against I by Power, he, he sidestepped it a little bit and waited for them to spray through, and then he went back and tried to get the kill. So that's actually very smart play. Good adjustment from Flaren, and that makes it three and one, and a, a round that I, it looked like I by Power was going to win again. Skadoodle, who did play very well in that round. Daze gets himself a frag, but is uh, returned the favor by Forrest, who picks him off. AZK has uh, dropped Forrest, and we're going tit for tat in this round. It ends in favor of Iron Mind Power. They're a man to the good. And, uh, they will uh, quite happily sit back and see uh, what will come next. Uh. <laughs> they're really, you get right, this is a smart idea. If they were going to boost up and get pick up this kill, it'd have been instant equalized. So it's a very, very bright idea, but I'm not sure they were going to get anything from it. And the American team doing what they should be doing at this point. They got the man advantage. They're waiting to see if NIP is going to try and reclaim the advantage by peeking a little bit too much. And there it is. Swag goes for the kill and Exist will take him down. And I am actually really confused about why he, he chose to do that. Because they could have left him in the apartments, and now, you know, Gerard's going to be alone. If he picks up a kill here, it's going to be great. There's the headshot. Goes for a second one. It's now three on two, and Skadoodle will take him down. Bomb going down here, courtesy of Steel. Skadoodle's AWP dispatches a fifth Laren, and it's one on two. Exist to try and save the round against two fully healthed uh, I by Power players. Will Exist decide to go for this, or will he try and keep a weapon? That's going to be, it's a tough retake, but uh, with Exist... You never know what he's going to deliver, and in the end, it is uh, Skadoodle who's having a stormer uh, with that AWP. He's up to uh, three frags in that round, had two in the one before, and uh, AZK as well is uh, on seven. Very interesting, and um, four and one, and you know, one round win is not enough for NIP to build up any kind of economy, so they're going to be echoing straight away. It's a real pleasure to see Skadoodle up at this level because I think he's one of the really... I don't know if he's underrated. I think we actually all know how good he is, but because he's in the American team and we always end up talking about the European Orpers, we actually just forget him when we do the listing a lot, and he is very good, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But we get to see him in the action right here. Maybe we can remember him a little bit in the future. Obviously, nothing is set and done at this point, but NIP... The pressure is on, and the big problem is that even in the next round up, um, Stuart, they're not going to have that much money. And if you're just joining us, to understand the intensity of this game, it is must win for both teams. And uh, they are both staring elimination 
AZK gets himself the frag on to Exist. It'll push in. Steel is uh, trying to chase down. Uh, I think it's Exist who's uh, behind him. No, it's Forrest who's got one point of health. And uh, oh, if they I get... Was... Kelsey still alive. Days is going to go through, and uh, they will surely convert this uh, eco out. So yeah, they both must win. It's not all done if they uh, if they were to lose this game because they still both have another match. But there's take, can take nothing for granted right now. NIP are fourth and would qualify. Yeah. I by power sit right behind them and would leapfrog them with a win. It's a very very strange group again. I mean, it's gone completely opposite to what everyone was expecting, and this is no different. I by power now Look five and one. Doesn't I'm not sure if Steel is happy or sad that it, that they're winning four five one. Uh, he, I think he is excited. I think maybe guardedly excited. You know, you don't want to celebrate too soon. Uh, but I, I definitely think I buy power are going to be psyched if they can win this one. Moving into the seventh round, there's actually still the AWP on Skadoodle and NIP force it up. See, this is what I was talking about. They just don't have the money for it. Three for Masters here, no diffuse kits either. If I buy power get into a bomb site and put the bomb down, it's going to be terrifying basically for the Swedish team. Interesting boost onto Skadoodle that this time bore no fruit. But uh, that at least uh, does not cost him his life either. Freiburg will spot all the nades incoming as they will poke up the banana walkway. Freiburg, he's the king of banana. You really don't want to challenge him. And he's up on the cart here, which is a really cool position. Hard to grenade, and uh, he can cover a lot of that site. Now in the middle, it's going to be get right. Molotov off in the corner. They're going to peek behind it once again. Get right's ready for it. But for Mars, it's just not the right weapon for it. Steel drops down to half, and Get Right takes about as much damage as well. Exist boosted up on the canopy here. It's going to take down Dazed. Mid air headshot. Second one as well. And that's Get Right picking up two kills. It's going to be down to Skadoodle alone here in a one on five. A great round from NIP. Skadoodle with a really quick shot. Goes for a second one, but he's being spammed through. And I think Get Right secured that round for the Swedes. Absolutely. The crossfire they had on the mid was exceptional. Skadoodle's goal was to get a kill and the bomb, and then he could maybe make a play. But it wasn't to be for him. NIP get their second round in a row. Interesting to look at the role Get Right has played in the seven rounds we've had so far. Of the gun rounds that they've had, two he's been in the middle, one he's been over at B, and uh, he's floating quite happily at the moment. This is the type of game that would suit him if the scoreline were different. Yeah, I absolutely think you're right. This is this is going to be such a hard battle for NIP, especially in the next, you know, this round and the next two, because they really don't have any kind of economy. It's good that they run the last round with four people alive. That builds a bit of a foundation, but they need a lot more. And I buy power. I think their economy is a lot healthier at the moment. If you and Flash is going to peek right away. Actually, does get the kill on Ace on Ace. Sorry, that's impressive. Thought he was going to go down immediately. If Flaren is uh, buoyed by that, screams come if you will, get right in the middle this time, and uh, I buy power decide that they just don't have any information at that point. They've got, they got the one guy who peeked out got killed, and they know nothing of the A site, they know nothing of the B site, they are slowly irking their way around, but get right will retreat after uh, spamming in towards the smoke, and I buy power just need a little information going into their own attack, because they don't know where to go. You don't. NIP with a very passive setup. Apart from Forest here, he's a little bit far out, but I'm wondering, yeah, he's going to get flashed, and you can see Freiburg there with the flash ready, so that's going to be a pop on out to Banana, and they're not going to catch anyone just yet, but if they wait a couple of seconds, and they won't, they really can't know what we know, obviously, but um, that's a really good idea from NIP, though Skadoodle is going to open up the map once again, but look at that time toss spot, 25 seconds. Not long left, as uh, the Americans will move the bomb in. They waited for the rotation, and it's just come now from Freiburg. He's just made the commitment. No, he hasn't. He's going to come back in, and he will join Forrest on the uh, B site to defend. Steele gets the first. Freiburg gets the second. And that's beautiful play from Freiburg. It would have lost them the round because the bomb would have gone down afterwards. And that leaves Skadoodle and Swag completely out of the game with uh, two seconds to go. And, uh, I, uh, and Freiburg, such a clutch double frag. I, have, I mean, normally we, we counsel against people running through smokes like that because it can be absolute suicide. But he flashed his way in and managed to pick it up. And you're right, that was, that was just the time that worked against uh, I buy power. Very, very cool play from Freiburg. That brings it back to a 5-3 scoreline. And actually, the American team, look at this. They buy two AKs, one AWP, which tells a lot about how much they really value this weapon on Skadoodle. And then two pistols instead. They've used their whole bank on this one round. Well, the interesting thing was getting away with those two weapons that they had at the end of that last round put them in this tough situation of we might lose them if we have to save out. So do we, let's do this half-hearty round. And it's really interesting. And actually, they bought uh, two Molotovs, one on Dazed and one on Steel. So 
That makes me wonder if they're just going to use them as they have before to clear areas. I mean, they can clear the bedroom and they can clear the ninja corner down towards um, Archway, so maybe that's what's going on. But I completely forgot about the fact that they saved those. Of course, that's what happened. Now, NIP going with the exact same setup for, I think, the ninth round in a row. They've been doing this all game long. Get right. He's ready to play his role. As he edges in towards that. Uh... Looking through the smoke. There is Forrest now going to see action coming up towards him on B. There are four players there, only one over at A. As uh, I buy power, ready to make their push. Forrest is going to see Steel first, and he pushes out, and he is going to get dropped by Steel. Oh, didn't know whether he was coming or going there. Forrest and was just shooting at anything, and uh, that leaves Freiburg one on four here on that B site. Can Freiburg deliver here? Looks like he'll get by a few seconds. He's going to have to do really well in this corner. If he goes down, that's a big problem. But Getright's actually already moved in. Really quick rotation. Freiburg and Getright doing incredible work. Great double kill. That's going to be a triple from Freiburg. And now Swag is alone here. And he's going to go down. That's Getright picking up the double. That rotation was so quick. And I buy power hesitating a lot more than they should have. If they had gone straight away, I venture to say they would have picked up that kill on Freiburg. So I'm going to quote Anders quoting nothing. Oh. So when you were casting earlier in the NIP NIP game, you said that nothing stated um, that you have to force a situation rather than sit and be passive. And that's what Getright did. The moment he knew he was in the position, they didn't wait for them to come onto him. Getright was just like, sod it, I'm going to go and get the kills. And that's what left I by power thinking, oh crap, not only are they here, they're shooting at us. That round could have gone horribly wrong for NIP as well, because Forrest, I think he was overcome by what we sometimes refer to as the I want all the kills syndrome, where you know you have the opportunity to pick up two or three or four kills, and instead you do absolutely nothing, because you're sort of halfway shooting at everyone, and that's really not a good strategy. So that could have been really painful. It will be Forrest to have that opportunity once again. Now this time against a fully saved I by power. Freiburg is the one who will get three. Forrest gets two, and the scores are level. I mean, things were looking very bad for NIP, but they've won five rounds in a row here. And we've gone from having, I mean, what? there's the first three rounds where NIP had picked up exactly zero kills combined. Nobody killed anyone. So this is a big change for the NIP team. And I buy power, I think if they can go, if they can go out of this first half with six or more rounds on the T side, they're going to be in a pretty comfortable position. So actually, I think it's on NIP at this point to just clear out this with the rest of this half. And maybe they can. Key moments that have won NIP those five rounds have come from Get Right and Freiburg. Both have uh, contributed to those in immeasurable ways. Uh, how many times have we said that over the years? Uh, it's been said a fair few times, right? And um, it's kind of interesting to see Get Right step it up and play better and better because he's sort of on a personal level been playing a little bit under his, his normal level. So it's nice to see him step it up. If he's going to be back and playing at full level, then who knows what NIP can do in this tournament. Get Right comes out, incredible spray. And actually a team kill from Fuflaren. That's a big problem now. That's going to lose them a lot of money. And obviously they lose Get Right in the mix too. But right on cue, Get Right just going against the odds, getting those two kills. And uh, leaving Skadoodle with only 23 points of health as well. Freiburg, Frag, Swag. And uh, now it will be AZK left on his own. Gets himself the one onto Freiburg, but his one on three gets the second. Oh, AZK ready to go big, but uh, was stopped at the last. And uh, that will be NIP in the lead now. Yeah, and actually I said the money would be a problem, but Fiflaun still started this round with about 9,000. And there's also 11,000 on Exist, which means I buy power not just up against a really well-functioning NIP team that's all, all of a sudden stepped it up, but now they're also up against having to win consecutive rounds to force any kind of eco. And I'm not sure if the American team has it, especially not this round, because they've actually forced it up with, uh, what, two smokes and one grenade. That's really not a lot to make any kind of play happen on the T side here. Yeah, Yo, you feel it with that armament, a rush up B might have been the only thing they could do to quickly get movement out of NIP, but that hasn't happened either. They, they, they do retain those names. They can smoke off towards quad, or they can, I mean, they can smoke off one side of the bomb side and go for the other one if that's what they're looking for, but they really don't have a lot of options. Like, faking and everything else is out the window when you only have these few grenades. And Fiflaren is right here, gonna peek. Grenade comes in to check the corner, and I by power are really being careful. They're realizing that NIP really do like that corner, so they're making sure they check it with grenades, which is a good idea. But um, nothing happening yet apart from that. 
Fiflaren is the one he'll see action first. It's AZK, and he will get the better of him. It's going to be Fiflaren and five points of health against Dazed, who does dispatch a Freiburg and gets himself the second. Good work from him. And get right in the bomb site. Will go down to the hat trick frag of Dazed. Swag has got one more, and still will put in the bomb. And it's all on Forrest to deliver here. One versus four. Absolutely brilliant play from Days, jumping past the, the library and then actually instantly checking behind him towards the archway. That was very, very I mean, incredi incredibly keen game sense coming out. And that, that won him. Even if he hadn't got the kill on Get Right at the end in, in, the, in the bomb side, it would have been enough what he did to, uh, to Free Flaren and the guy coming out of archway. So now Forrest looking for exit kills, but he's not even going to get any. So this is a really, really big round. Luckily for NIP, as we said earlier, they have money to buy in the upcoming round. And I don't think they can lose any more rounds right now. But they get away with four AKs. Forrest could have played a big role there. If he'd made that just two AKs or something, you're looking at three rebuys. But only one guy to rebuy and a bomb plant round. This is such a close game right now, and it's really hard to know how it's gonna how it's gonna all play out. Because NIP are definitely good at playing the terrorist side of uh, of Inferno, so they they can make some crazy comebacks. We've seen that in the past. Three rounds left in this half. I buy power doing themselves proud in what is a must win game for uh, both sides as NIP sit fourth and I buy power sit fifth in the group. Top four go through. Freiburg pushes down towards Banana and assassinates Skadoodle. AZK though will return the favor with two of his own. Forrest uh, did get that and Swag is going to go in and so we're on three on three now. They have rotated towards the B-bomb side. This time, I buy power a lot faster. The, in the previous rounds, they haven't committed when they've got that opening, but this time they're, they're doing it. And NIP, well, they're going to make the rotation in here, but the bomb is already down, and they have some grenades. Look at how much is on I buy power. The two Molotovs is going to play a huge role here, and the smoke. This is going to be so tough. If Flaren goes down, and now it's a 2 on 3 retake, NIP cannot lose this round, but the bomb is already ticking away. Great shot from Exist. It's going to be in the back. Daze goes down. Steel coming up from behind. The bomb, is he going to be able to get it? Oh, get right, gets the shot, but I'm not sure there's enough time here. Just in the last second, he gets it. Oh, right. A sick retake coming up from NIP. And actually, Steel was trying to flank all the way around, which was a great idea. But Geraint had the presence of mind to wait a second, kill him, and then defuse. And you called out those nades, those Molotovs. They didn't get used. No. Steel tossed in the flash, uh, despite having the Molotovs. So, yeah, odd, odd round there from... Uh, I buy power, definitely one that was theirs to lose, and they lost it. But uh, a great retake, take nothing away from that. A great retake from NIP. And uh, they find themselves around to the good as uh, Exist will fire into the smoke and uh, was not too far away from a kill he didn't know anything about. Freiburg's lost uh, 76 points of health in the, in the mix of things as I buy power have got uh, a full complement of uh, weapons and nades in this round. Barring steel, but that's fine if. Uh, Four weapons and one. If they were to lose the first man, Steel's going to be there anyway. So this is an important round from iBuy Power's perspective. It definitely is. Moving into the, the last stages of this first half, and they can win one more round. I'm not even sure NIP is going to have that much money, so it's going to be really tricky. This this really tips the scale in either direction, I think. 9-7, or sorry, 9-6 would be a, a reasonable half for NIP. I think they can definitely win the game from that platform, but... If they lose many more rounds, I'm not so sure. Get right in the middle, already spotting a couple of people. And it is interesting to see Exist picking up the AWP. Not the first time, but obviously he's not the go-to operator. You know, you'd have to be Flaren and then Forrest and then maybe someone else. And that's maybe one of Exist's biggest talents, that he is a multitasker. He is someone with many a talent. So we'll see. I by power. They were attempting to try and force an agenda, and they haven't had one, so they defected back to going in towards B. It's Forrest that'll see action first as uh, Freiburg's been flashed and assaulted by Days. And now Fiflaren is going to be the one to come up. Banana bomb will go down. Forrest shows his head. Oh, Forrest dispatches of two heads. Steals and Days both down, and Forrest will take the hat trick. And it is absolute vintage Forrest as he clears out that B bomb site. I. I don't know, Forrest discovering whole new levels of absurdness when he actually doesn't reload his rifle. It's an M4, one only has 20 bullets, you already killed two people with headshots, and you, you choose to save the last three bullets for the next guy coming around the corner. That much confidence. That is really crazy. 8-6. Another round where I buy power will have felt, oh, we could have won that one.
absolutely could have won that one, probably should have won that one. And I like the fact that this time, last time when, when Freiburg came through the smoke, he killed them. This time they decided, all right, we're going to meet Freiburg on the other side, and it worked. So that should have been the opening for, uh, for the American team. Now it's the last round, and all they have is body armor and pistols here, and Exist has picked up an auto sniper instead. So when the AWP doesn't work, he's just picking up the one, you know, he's one-upping himself. This is more natural exist with that auto sniper. As Get Right will get himself the frags onto Steel, Swags, Godoodles down, and only ACK can answer back with his uh, CZ. And for NIP, though, finish this one out at 9 6 at half time. And that's, that'll be, a, if I'm an I buy Power fan, I'm, more, I'm so frustrated yeah. because there were opportunities there for them to close out that, re that half and potentially go in in the front. I absolutely agree. I mean, this could have been, this could have been nine six or even ten five. I think in favor of five I power instead of the other way. So definitely not a not an ideal situation. And what's really interesting, just to point this out, and not to assign any kind of blame, but Swag at the bottom of the scoreboard, and and this kid is an absolute genius in Counter Strike. So definitely playing way up, up below his level. And it could be the fact that we're on the main stage, and you know we're in a different country. He's, he's far relocated from his from his own home and his own comfort zone. So I could be playing a role here, but um, yeah, definitely if, if Swag turns this up, he can, he can help win, our, you know, win the game for I buy power. Well, he was a big player at Katowice, so he is used to this type of scenario. Another one to point out on that is Skadoodle. We called out when he got those six frags. They all came in the first five rounds. Yeah. So for the remaining ten, he didn't contribute. So an interesting switch up. Good luck, have fun has been called, and we're straight into the second half here. So welcome to the show once again. Remember to go invite your friends, tell them to come and join us here at the Gfinity stream, and also remember to check out the Gfinity website, that's Gfinity.net, so definitely go and, uh, and give them some support over there. Now, toss spot, here it comes. Steel is lying in wait for them as uh, the push will go, it's going to be Dazed and AZK to get the first three, oh, beautiful play from him, Swag follows up, gets himself one, that leaves Fifth Lauren and 74 points of health against three, and from here, I, my power, must deliver, the bomb will go down and... They'll sit back and let that happen, let that money go to uh, NIP. And uh, despite having the three, they weren't confident enough about it. Pushes in now, Fifth Lauren gets the first. Oh, and he almost got the second, I don't believe it. But uh, bombed down from NIP. Given they were in a one on three, that's uh, the best that they could hope for. Yeah, I definitely think so. And I actually, you can tell that Skadoodle wanted to go for that one on one versus Fifth Lauren. And I bet you Dazed was on the microphone just shouting at him, do not even try it. Because if, if Reflaren wins that one and puts the bomb down, and he would have time to do both, he could have still put the bomb down after he had killed Skadoodle maybe. That would have been a one on two that Reflaren can definitely win. So yeah, giving out the bomb plan is definitely annoying because for one thing, it means that NIP are going to be able to buy in the upcoming round. So it's not for nothing, but I still feel like that's the right move. I buy power, two rounds down, but with weapons this time around. Look at NIP. This is, this is something I've really come to like from, from a lot of the, the Swedish teams. They start buying a lot of, you know, no armor here, but a lot of grenades. And it doesn't stop them from buying the next round, but it means they have a real chance of winning. One good flashbang here on Dazed or his uh, teammate in the bomb site could be enough. So, there it is. Exactly what you called us. Uh, Dazed will steal. It'll be Steel who gets action. He gets one, two. He'll look for the rest, and Dazed now will poke out. And... Uh, between the two of them, they will mop up five frags. So this is the big round. Yeah, but what if Steel had been holding, instead of inside the bomb site, he had been holding towards the CT spawn, and Dazed had been the one up on the coils. That flashbang would have, would have worked brilliantly. So, so it shows you still a little bit of what it's worth. Now NIP are going to pick up the rifles here. They still have four smokes, which is perfectly reasonable, and they're going to be moving into the next round. Skadoodle with the AWP. Let's see if he can pick up that form he had on the terrorist side. Need a big round from Skadoodle here as uh, he will push out towards the banana walkway, sees uh, nothing. Uh, we'll report that out to the team that he doesn't know anything at this stage. Hasn't seen anyone, but this is really good because actually what it will do is ultimately it will allow high by power to leave him over there and put four people in the A-bomb site, which is a very standard setup, uh, something that we've seen so often, but it does really work well. I mean, it's going to make it t half harder for NIP to go for the A-bomb site anyway. Now, if they walk into this, AZK and Days have got a beautiful crossfire that they can lay down, and it will be Forrest who should be the first to see this. It's going to be the A push, and there's the first frag, and he needs that reinforcement. AZK went firing, but there was no reinforcement from Days, and uh, Days now is going to have to make amends, gets himself a headshot onto, uh, sorry, gets himself a kill onto Get Right, and uh, NIP will be a man down. 
very least, they need to put the bomb down. And let's see if Forrest is going to be the man for the job. No, Dazed will take him down. That's now a double for the in-game leader here for the American team. Freiburg in a one-on-three. 35 seconds left, and he's being wrapped around. Steel will take him down. And it's going to be 9-9, nine and nine, moving straight into the next round. And NIP cannot buy once again. The bomb plant here, an $800 bonus. Actually, all they would have had would have been Galil's anyway. So economically speaking, they're, they're under great pressure right now. And slowly I can hear from the other side of the room, Scoot starting to chant, USA and Canada, USA and Canada, as he uh, <laughs> is ready to fly that flag once again, because I, my power, have tied the game back up. That will be starting to feel confident. We'll see. Maybe maybe if they win, EG is going to pick up. Scoot's still needy, right? Not you anymore. never really leave, do you? He never emotionally. That's what I mean. In all right, well, moving into the 19th round, still in the corner here, Swag, and there's a semi-crossfire set up here. Swag going to pick up a couple of kills, and that's actually really important. Even though these are eco frags and we can't even rate them too highly, I think if Swag is struggling a little bit, then getting a, a few rounds to just build up a little bit of confidence, that makes sense to me anyway. Yeah. And a triple this round. Nice play from him. You know, I heard if everyone goes and plays CS Pro Mod, EG will pick up a team. <laughs> Are we still waiting for Alex to, uh, to, to realize that's not going to happen? We might be waiting a long time. 10-9, <laughs> I buy power, have the lead. And uh, NIP have weapons. And this is uh, going to be a fascinating round. And Skadoodle, as you mentioned, let's see what he's got to offer. He uh, pushes out quickly here. And this is it. Oh, Forrest was lying in wait for him to show and needed just two bikes of the cherry to drop him. Yeah, and you would have thought Skadoodle would have had the upper hand in that one. And you can see he was doing getting ready for the for the, the flick of death right there, but it just doesn't come through. So that's that's Forest for you. Now they're I mean now they're the man up and NIP with all this experience are not gonna try and force anything. They're gonna wait and see if I buy power are gonna offer them another mistake. They have so much time to do it as well. Still more than a minute left on the clock, so if they can find one more kill, they're gonna do that. This is where experience and patience will really pay virtue. From I buy power, they will feel like they have to force it. They have to level it up somehow. And that's exactly going to play into NIP's hands. They do something right here, but actually, and I buy power have done this correctly. They have two people on the B bomb side, which actually I'm generally not a fan of in a four and three like this, but it turns out to be the right move this time. Flash goes in, steel with a great headshot. Freiburg is down, and now he's hiding in the back and gives time for Days to move up here on the coil. Steel picking up one more, and then Days raining down hell from above. Get right is going to go down. That's Steel with a triple kill, and what a great rotation. What great teamwork coming out from I buy power. That shot from the back of New Box. Steel picking up the first two kills, buys just enough time for Days to show, to show up. So whatever went wrong when I buy power were, were playing against Infused, they have obviously corrected a little bit here because this is now really scary. NIP have lost a lot of rounds in a row, so the consecutive round loss bonus is starting to build up for them, but they can't afford to lose many more. Cannot emphasize exactly what you're saying about Steel's frag there. You could play it and then just hear the silence because nothing follows that first frag for three, four seconds. And that is absolutely golden. First frag comes in, it's swag that goes down. Exist has it, and Get Right will push in and uh, avenge with another one onto Skadoodle. And Get Right is angry, and Get Right is getting his vengeance as he pushes in towards that A site. And single handedly, NIP remind us why they are just that good. Yeah, very nice control from Get Right. And I like the little detail about him checking the, the bomb site with that boost spot. Really want to make sure they don't throw any rounds away. And that's really important. That shows you a level. A presence of mind that really is imp that's really hard to achieve in a tournament setting like this. Because, yeah, if you're just playing with your friends on matchmaking, it's easy enough to remember to check all the corners. But when there's this much pressure on, when you're just, you know, a few rounds away from potentially being knocked out, you start making really silly mistakes. And that could have been one of them. Obviously, we know I buy power word boost up there to begin with. But if someone had been. That is not a mistake you want to make at this point. And now NIP are hunting. Steel in the corner here. Freiburg's going to take him down. And Dazed is not going to be able to save this rifle either. That's a triple for Get Right. And they equalize the score back here. 10, 11. And yeah, that's going to be it's almost equalized, sorry. Yeah, good work there to get those uh, rifles out because that's forced them to buy and drop. And it's uh, definitely made uh, this a, a win, win the round or be on an eco scenario. The money for I buy power is not looking too hot either. I think if they lose a round here, they might just force it up, but Skadoodle won't have enough, so it's going to be a really tricky force and a hard decision for the Americans to make. And NIP are roughly in the same spot anyway. This next eco round is going to be absolutely massive. Whoever is going to get it, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be really impactful in this game.
Get right. Angry get right. Have they have they unleashed the beast? I feel like they may have just done that. As uh, he will... The forest is going to go for it. Steel has, uh, is not at B for once and uh, will make his way through. ACK gets himself the frag onto Freiburg. And what a round to go uh, for in. Steel's been nestled in B. And this was the round when they all went A and Steel was ready and waiting for them. They get themselves three, sorry, uh, yeah, three frags. Fifth Laren is only on five health as well. And uh, they are both in the nest, both waiting for Steel to show and Steel to deliver. Big round from him, and that will finish off the job. A hat trick of frags for Steel, and he is dragging I by power over the line here. They're 12 10 up. Yeah, and it's ACK and, and Steel doing the, the, the majority, and they actually days too. Those three are really carrying it home right now, and it's great to see ACK. ACK playing this well. He's a really strong player and been around for a long time in the in the North American global offensive scene. I remember seeing him, you know, really early 2013 as well and uh, doing great work. Then actually the team he was on at that point, he was the main AWPA, so it's, it's, it's things have changed, but obviously he can do both, so that's great. And you know, Steele, this player who was, you know, I'm not going to say nothing in the European scene, but he wasn't at this level when he was over in Europe. He was going to stop playing and become an observer after Katowice, and well, suddenly... You know, it's weird, because the first time I met Steel was actually when he was observing for the Raid Call Cups that, that ESL were doing. And he told me, look, Anders, I, I really want to get back into a team. I've never been playing this good before. And I thought, you know, whatever. Like, yeah, I hear this all the time from players saying that they've never played this good before. I actually just kind of brushed it off. Because you're right, he was playing in some really minor British teams that obviously were never going to have a really big impact. And now he's definitely at a much higher level. So this is really interesting. Smoke's going to go off here. I buy power trying to buy time. And they still have just actually one Molotov here. So NIP are pretty going to be able to make a breakthrough and not have to run through smokes. We're on board with Swag, who's waiting for action. Now Dazed is there as well. No real crossfire here. Previously, they've set up AZK and Dazed to just uh, mow players down. And you see Steel over on B, as we mentioned before. Skadoodle gets himself one, but Dazed and Swag both down. And uh, I buy power are uh, going to have AZK trying to hold on to that side. But Freiburg had all the time in the world to line that headshot up and duly delivered. And they're going to go for this because they know that there's low health on all of those players. There's not 100 points of health between the three NIP players. And there is uh, fully healthed up I buy power players. Grenade here. No, actually, Molotov down. Grenade to the other side. They're going to force him up right into the grenade. Absolute precision throw coming out there from Steel. Now it's a 2-1-2. Two, two. They're going in. They're going to get the kill on Freiburg. Coming up on the apartment. Scott Doodle picks up the kill. And I buy power. Is there enough time? There is. They're going to pick up the round. That little trick with the Molotov to force him one way and then the grenade, that must have landed right in his teeth. What a, what a sick throw. Well, just all round, that retake was perfect. You couldn't analyze and do it any better. Uh, it was, well, I was going to say sensational. Uh, well, I'll, I'll definitely agree with that one. And the really, really wonderful thing is, just be, aside from that throw, the whole thing was set up by Skadoodle actually spotting the guy running down there. He saw him running past with the AWP, obviously t communicated over. So this, this says a lot about what's happening on I by by right now. Just the details, uh, it's all about the details right now. There we go. Steel gets himself the frag onto Freiburg, and there's only Galil's left on that side, and AZ and. I mean, NIP are on the rocks here. If I buy power convert this, they'll be four rounds up, two away from victory. And can we bring up the scoreboard really quickly? I'm wondering how much they have. Yeah, NIP are going to be echoing. Oh, well, they'll have to force it up in, in, in order to not fight for overtime. But this is very, very huge. I mean, NIP are three rounds away from being knocked out of this tournament, potentially. Well, the, the only thing is, in theory, if, uh, if you beat NIP, you'd be expected to beat whoever you would next face. But uh, I buy power face up next. They will be on the stage. They face Epsilon in their last game. And you've no idea what that result will be. And you've no idea what NIP versus London Conspiracy will be. So as much as it'll put I buy power above NIP and put NIP in the relegation zone, that last round of the games is just unpredictable. Swag hiding in the corner. NIP, they do sort of halfway check it. And that's not enough. Swag with a great double converts it to a triple, and it's going to be Skadoodle to pick up the last one. So actually, yeah, that was Skadoodle and Steel coming in with the last two kills then. And we're at 14-10, and there's no money for NIP. But, I mean, what would you do at this point, Tospo? Will you fight for overtime? Well, the draw's well, a no draw. good. The draw's no good. Oh, you're right. It's a draw. I keep forgetting. Because I buy power have a draw in their Mac pocket as well. Actually, a draw would keep a Nip above I buy power. I buy power have two draws, right? But Nip have that one win. And that's what keeps them above them. 
All right, well. So you've got to play, uh, well. The NIP are actually playing for the draw right now. The best they can hope for. Which, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. This is such a long shot. After this round, assuming they don't win this one, which is looking unlikely, they're going to have to pick up five in a row here. Freiburg missing the one dig, but Exist will not. And right around the corner, HZK is ready to mow down more people. He's actually going to know that swag going down inside the pit. I think we have one guy that's up in the balcony, and he's going to be taking a lot of kills. ACK doing great work, and it's going to be Dazed rotating in to pick up that last one onto Exist. Now 15-10. It's match and map point time for NIP. Five of them. Yeah, this is huge. NIP staring defeat in the face. And, uh, well, Forrest might have all the time in the world tomorrow to play CS 1.6 reunion games because to borrow from Thorin, and he wanted praise for that statement he gave, he's got problems in 2014. That actually made me laugh way more than it should. I'm... We're actually paid to not laugh at Thorin's jokes. That's very true. Sometimes hard. Skadoodle missing a crucial shot, but this is it. NIP, they want the entry frag and they want a lot more than that here. They're setting up in a very standard position. Gonna try and take control of Banana Skadoodle. Has missed one guy going by, so he can be crept on one. If he misses the shot on Freiburg, he's gonna go down. What a sick flick, takes down, exists all the way in the back. That was lightning fast. That was lightning fast and maybe slightly lucky. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure he knew that one, but uh, hey, I'm not gonna take it away from him. We are ready to... Well, what does Scoot say in this game? You make your own luck, or was it Richard? It was Richard. He was ready to run for Prime Minister at that point. Make your own luck in this world, and I, by power, have done exactly that. It's the American and Canadian dream, as uh, they are now just four frags away, and dazed. Oh, you're, I was about to go wax lyrical. I thought he was going to land on Get Right. Swag is going to take down Forrest. This is a four on three, and things are not looking good at the moment. ACK down here trying to avoid getting flashed or smoked out. Really cool position. Going to take down one more, and it's just get right left here. Toss spot in the one on three is going to go down. Swag will pick up the last kill, and it'll be...